Hi everyone, my name is Jose Flores and today I'm extremely excited to be here. Number one, because the doctor said that I shouldn't be here, but number two is because I get to share my story with you. You see, I was born with a neuromuscular condition called spinal muscular atrophy. And basically what that does is the older I get, the weaker my muscles get. And what causes that is a deficiency in one of the neurons that produces the protein in our bodies that causes us to be strong and stay strong and get even stronger. My body is lacking that. So the older I get, the weaker my muscles get. So when I was a young boy, the doctors had told my parents that I'd be in a wheelchair by the age of 15. And check this out, they weren't even expecting me to live past my teenage years. But I have great news for all of you because this year I celebrated my 45th birthday. That's right. And I'm excited about that. That's why I'm excited, super excited today, because I wake up on fire. If you can't tell, every time I wake up and I get the opportunity to take my breath on my own and go out there, inspire and impact somebody's life, it's a great day for me. Because like I mentioned, the doctor said that I shouldn't be here past the age of 19. And so when I wake up, I don't need to be motivated. I don't need to be inspired. I'm just, I wake up on fire because I get the opportunity. Not that I have the opportunity, I get the opportunity to go out there and make a difference. And so the doctor said by the age of 15, I would end up in a wheelchair and they weren't expecting me to live past my teenage years. And that was tough for me because can you imagine being a young boy and being told that you have an expiration date, right? And, and it's a young one when you're young. And so I didn't actually lose my ability to walk until I was 22 years old. Can you imagine that for a moment? Just think about that. Maybe there's a 22 year old watching this or listening to this and I lost my ability to walk at 22 years old. And I was in a dark place, I was in a dark tunnel and it was, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. And it took me some years to get out of that dark place, it took me some years to get out of that dark hole because many times in my life people told me that I wasn't going to make it, that I wasn't going to become something and I allowed this wheelchair to define me. I allowed this wheelchair to dictate my destiny but I made a decision and I made a choice and I want you to make that same decision or that same choice today. I made a choice and I said, I'm not gonna let this wheelchair defeat me, I'm not going to let this wheelchair define me and I'm not going to let this wheelchair dictate my destiny. And I want you to take a moment and do the same thing. Whatever your wheelchair looks like, you see I believe that everybody has a wheelchair. Some are visible like mine and some are invisible that you can't see. And so I want you to take a moment and I want you to fill in the gaps. I want you to fill in the blank. And I want you to say that this blank, whatever your wheelchair is, won't defeat me. This thing won't define me. And this thing won't dictate my destiny. And I want you to say that, but I don't only want you to say that today. I want you to say that for the rest of your life. Because you see, we don't have to let our conditions and our situations define us, defeat us, or determine what our future looks like. We can, we can take control of that and we can control what our future looks like by making those decisions. And I wanna challenge you to make that decision today. You see, because I believe that the only limitations that we have are the ones that we put on ourselves, right? The stories that we tell ourselves. And so that was a couple of things that I had to do to be able to become the man that I am today. And one of those things was to change the story that I was telling myself. I was living a defeated life. And the reason is, is because I was telling myself a defeated story about myself. I always used to say that I wouldn't be able to do anything great in life. I always used to say that I would not be able to be of significance in this life. And I always thought that I would never be able to leave a legacy, right? Leave a mark. And I know that deep down inside, many of us have that desire to do something great and be great and leave that legacy behind. So that we, when we are no longer here, right? that people can still talk about us. People can still remember the greatness and the great things that we left behind. And so that's why I decided to write an amazing book called Don't Let Your Struggle Become Your Standard. It's a number one bestseller. And the reason why I wrote that book was because I know that many people str uh, deal with str struggles and challenges. Everyone struggles. If you haven't struggled yet, I promise you, you'll be facing one soon. But everyone struggles. And I wanna let you know that you don't have to let that struggle become your standard. You see, for many years, I just parked right there in my struggle and I stayed there, letting that struggle defeat me, letting that struggle keep me back, letting that struggle hinder me from living the life that I truly wanted to live. Until again, I made that decision that I wasn't going to let this struggle become my standard. And so I made a choice, another choice, and another decision. And I said, I'm gonna start living my life to the fullest. You see, because many years I lived my lives worrying about what people would say about me, worrying about what people would think about me, 
and the looks that they would give me. And I allowed that to let me keep living in fear. I lived my life in fear for many years. So I wouldn't go out. I would be staying at home. I'd make excuses for not going out and, and, and being productive in society until I said no more. I'm not going to do this anymore and I'm going to live a life of freedom and a life of fulfillment. And so I started on this journey uh, to writing this book. And the reason why I wrote that was because I wanted to let every single one of you watching or listening to this know that you don't have to let your struggle become your standard. You don't have to park right there. Sometimes when life happens to us, right, we think that a lot of times things are happening to us, but in reality, life is happening for us. Things are happening for us. And sometimes through those challenges and those struggles, what happens is, is that we're learning, we're growing, and, bec and we're becoming more. And that's what challenges and struggles do. It helps us to shift our thinking and our mindset. So we can either feel like we want to stay stuck in that situation or that condition or that circumstance, or we can use our minds to figure out a way to get unstuck and to keep moving forward. And so that's what I did. I believe that we have so much power in our minds. We don't give our minds the proper respect that it deserves. Our minds are such a powerful thing. Our mind is the most powerful tool and resource that we have and that we can utilize to do great and amazing things. And so I had to develop mental toughness, I had to develop mental resilience, and I had to develop a, what I like to call PMA, a positive mental attitude. And so that's what I did. Instead of focusing on all the things that I couldn't do and all the things that I was losing, I just made a small tweak and I started focusing on all the things that I could do and all the things that I was good at doing. You know, we hear a lot of times people say that we have our own gifts, talents, and abilities and our skill sets, and I believe that to be very true. We're all born uniquely. When I was younger, people used to say I had a disability, which is a word that I don't really like using anymore. I like to say that I have a different abilities because we all live a unique life. We're all different. Imagine we lived in a world where we all looked the same, spoke the same, did the same things. How boring would that be, right? And so I had to develop this mindset that said, you have to go after what you want and you can't stop. And so I have this motto that says, I won't stop until I win. I won't stop until I win. And I want you to say that. When you're feeling down and out and you wake up like life is happening to you, I want you to say, you know what? No matter what's happening to me, I'm not gonna stop until I win. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep moving that needle forward until I start seeing the results that I wanna see in life. And when you start doing that, you'll start to feel differently. You'll start to think differently. You'll start to move differently because now you have a proper mindset that says, I'm, I'm unstoppable. I can move forward and I can live the life and the dreams that I want. You see, when I was younger, I had dreams just like all of you did. Uh, sometimes those dreams look like having the big house, the nice cars, the healthy looking bank accounts. And there's nothing wrong with those things as long as you're not chasing things, right? Because things in life don't last. We have to chase things that last forever. And so for me, one of my greatest dreams were, was wondering if a woman was ever going to love me like this because I felt like damaged goods. I was like, man, God, you got it wrong with me. You got to do me over. Have any of you felt like you needed a do over in life? <laughs> I'm sure you have. We all do, right? Because sometimes maybe you've been somewhere that you shouldn't have been or you said something that you shouldn't have done or you were somewhere where you know you shouldn't have been and you just said, man, I, I wish I can do it all over again. And that's what I said to myself, like, man, I need a do over. And, you know, so I had dreams of wondering if a woman was ever going to love me like this. I had dreams of wondering if I was ever going to be able to have children or own a home or drive a car or work a job. I just wanted to live a basic life, right? The average Joe type of life. And that's because of my limiting belief system, right? Of myself, the stories that I was telling myself. But I have to tell you, through the grace of God, he's blessed me with a beautiful wife. We've been married for 15 years and we've been together for over 20. We have two amazing sons. I drive my own car with hand controls with a little joystick, just like I do with my wheelchair. And we own our own home. And I don't say that to impress you, but I say that to impact and inspire you and let you know that dreams are still coming true today. And I know that to be a fact because I'm living my dream today, this very moment. I get to travel the world as an international motivational speaker, as a coach, and as a mindset disruptor and let people know that dreams are still coming true today. So if you're watching this, maybe you've given up on your dreams. Maybe you had some goals and you've given up on your goals. Maybe you have ambitions and somebody spoke uh, a negative thing over your life and you just lost your ambition. I want to let you know that today, everything can change for you. 
today is a new day and today you're, you can make a decision that your future is going to be brighter than ever. And so I want to encourage you. I like to challenge and I like to encourage people to learn more, do more, and become more. And because today I get to travel the world with my beautiful wife, we travel internationally, speaking to groups of, of tens of thousands of people and in, impacting and inspiring them and letting them know that they don't have to let their struggle become their standard. And it's a dream come true because just coming from a little Puerto Rican boy from the Bronx, New York, who grew up with a condition uh, that, that the doctor said would be taking my life by the age of 19, and here I am today, still kicking life's butt. <laughs> So I want to encourage you, if you woke up today, change your mindset and say, you know what, today, I'm going to kick life's butt today. I'm not going to let life kick my butt. I'm going to kick life's butt, and I'm going to keep on kicking life's butt because your future can look as bright as you want it to. As long as you make the choice and make the decision today that you're going to build that mental toughness, you're going to build that mental resilience. You're not going to worry about what people say and think about you, and you're going to take your destiny in your own hands and say, today, everything changes. Today. I'm going to become the person that I want to become. And today, my life is going to begin to look a whole lot different. And the reality is, is that when you make that decision today, your tomorrow will look different. And the next day will look different because you're waking up with a different mindset, a new mindset, a positive mindset, ones that, one that says, I can do all things, right? Because of the strength that I have inside of me. You know, my favorite book says that as a man thinks, so he becomes. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're telling yourself, that story that you've been saying, if you don't like it, you can change it today. Right now, this very moment, as you're listening to my words, you can change it today. So I want to leave you with this, and I want to let you know that you don't have to let your struggle become your standard. And when you can learn to turn your pain into your passion, you will become unstoppable. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys. And until the next time, you take care, and God bless.